Hello, 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 and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Soraya Marshall Wright. Welcome to The World According to Soraya. For those of you who do not know, I'm an elder law and estate planning attorney in South Carolina, and I help individuals plan for the unexpected and protect their valuables through strategic planning so that they're not just in a position to leave a legacy for future generations, but they're also in a better position to avoid living in poverty when they're no longer able to work. So. It's still October, it's still Special Needs Law Month, and as promised, I gotcha with another Special Needs Law related tip. People ask me this all the time. How in the world is it possible that my child who's been eligible for Social Security Disability or SSI benefits since birth is no longer eligible once they turn 18? That makes no sense, right? I'll explain. Now, the standard for an adult to receive Social Security Disability, or SSI, is that they are no longer able to perform any type of substantial work due to a disabling condition. Keyword here is any, so that includes unskilled work. For a child to receive benefits, however, they're looking at whether or not the child is able to function like other kids their age. That's a completely different standard. So you may have a child, for instance, who has ADHD, but it doesn't mean they can't do physical labor in a factory. You may have a child who has a mild learning disability, but it may not mean that they can't run a cash register. So that's why the child who is disabled may not necessarily be considered a disabled adult. For example, you may have low birth weight babies who are receiving SSI or supplemental security income. It happens, but that may not be a disabled child or person. All right, so if you didn't know, now you know, and I'll see you next time.